here we are a year later and I'm standing next to him and speaking and he's here and people are talking. My name is Darcy Clemenson. I'm here with my son, Jackson. I'm Jackson Clemenson. I'm here with my mom, Darcy. <laughs> <laughs> and um, like Jackson had said, he was about eight years old and we started noticing having this a physical reaction to it was actually lip smacks and um, the sh like that, which doesn't bother him anymore. But we didn't know what it was. So we went to audiologists, we went to neurologists, nobody knew what it was. And so I was online and I googled, why does my son have an adverse reaction to shushing and misophonia popped up. I remember I was downstairs and I yelled to my husband like, oh my gosh, come here, come here, come here. I found it and it described Jackson's symptoms to a T. So that was really reassuring that we knew it was something because nobody, no the doc, none of the doctors were in Minneapolis, nobody knew what it was. We were teaching more doctors about what misophonia was and they told us. Yeah, so then, we tried lots of therapies and different things throughout the years, what we discovered, and we got involved in the Misophonia Association. What we discovered is his brain was really too young to really adapt them. And so in the meantime, I got a Misophonia Treatment Tracker Facebook page, and I started seeing Dr. Hatch pop up. And I would look on there to see what therapies were working for misophones, because it was still fairly new, but some people kept talking about Dr. Hatch and Dr. Hatch. So probably for about at least two years, at least, I was following him and tracking him, and like, Oh my gosh, someday we are, we're going to go, my husband and I, we're going to go to Utah. We don't know how we're going to get there because we live in Minneapolis. So then fast forward and we had, went to a misophonia conference that was in Minneapolis. Lo and behold, Dr. Hatch is speaking there. So we end up seeing him and meeting him and talking to him, Christine and we just decided not that much longer after that that we're going to make this work. Drove to Utah, three day, day drive with my dad. That rough yeah. journey they have through. Same yeah, it was so bad that we couldn't even speak around him. And so we were like, we're gonna do this. They get in the car and drive 18 hours. And we talked to Christine and Dr. Hatch and everybody here was amazing. Brought him in the back Office room, staff. had oh. music going, oh. 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 had to talk to him through whiteboards, couldn't speak to him for a week of therapy. And here we are a year later and I'm standing next to him and speaking and he's here and people are talking. And um, throughout the last year we've been doing he's been doing his brain exercises with dr hatch we have regular um, facetime calls with him not only does dr hatch help with his brain rehab therapy he helps him as a friend jackson considers him he calls jackson his, his brother and I'm dr hatch's little brother we got matching bracelets yeah matching bro bands and it says legit mental grit on it because dr hatch it's something about you got mental grit and what we love about Dr. Hatch is he's so incredibly, not only smart, but he's so positive. Like and Jack. passionate. Yeah. He's my doctor, my therapist, my best friend, my brother, uh, my health teacher, teacher. He's everything. Yeah, he is. And he talks to Jackson in a way that Jackson understands. Jackson's more pragmatic and yeah, so Realistic. And, and logical. Logical, like an engineer's mind. And he describes things to Jackson, like how Jackson's emotionally reacting to something or whatever yeah, in ways like not that just, it's like understands. emotions but like the physical like why my brain is doing it and how it cycles through my brain and why like if I get an image or something why I have that image and how it cycles in and, yeah and, and then Jackson I, I get that and he finds peace in that because he explained it in a way that is concrete enough where he understands logically. it it's logical and Jackson always feels so much better after we have those FaceTime calls and keeps you know changing his exercises to figure out how Jackson's brain is is reacting the challenge was getting him to get them done you know consistently time management time management which is challenging for him um, but we noticed right away that I don't know how long it was it wasn't too long after he started doing his exercises that when he would have he would hear a trigger sound his reaction time wouldn't reverberate in his brain for like say a minute or two. It the reaction time would it greatly dissipated right off the bat. And the strength, of and the strength of it dissipated. Like he, I remember you saying like, oh my gosh, someone just lip smacked, and I barely went like he'll hit his ear, like he barely, you know, had a reaction. That was one thing that we noticed right away. He has his tools that he goes to, his headphones and his different things that he goes to that he uses, and. We can talk with them, we can go places with them, we can go in the car with them, and if he needs a break, 
I'm like, mom, don't talk. It's hard for me not to do. He just tells me. And we, and we, and we have quiet time. And we don't eat around each other yet. I mean, that's, you know, we don't go to movies where they're eating popcorn, but. Um, that's something we really do in new place. Yeah. We were pretty, it's just me, my mom, and my dad. So we don't really have to like sit at a table and eat with the family, unless there's right. like Easter or something. Yeah, but emotionally, he's just, he's just so much happier. And that the message that we try and just raise awareness that misophonia is real. If someone's chewing gum or crunching chips and you have this physical reaction like nails on a chalkboard and your body reacts, it's real, you're not crazy. That's yeah, what, yeah. But that's yeah, what my dream want. is to be able to say, when someone's chewing, I can just say, I have misophonia, I cannot, and just, they'll be like, oh, okay, I understand, without me having to right. explain it to them for the next 30 minutes. I just wish that, I hope, we hope this helps get the word out that it's hard to encapsulate Dr. Hatch and everybody here at Brain Rehab the, the impact they have on your life. And with Dr. Hatch, I'm like, this makes so much sense because it's connected to your brain and your eye movement. And it, you know, we heard him speak, we scoured through his website, we watched his videos, and it made so much sense that we were just so positive about, let's just go. We don't expect it to be quick or have, you know, it's gonna completely cure it like tomorrow but we know that it is helping and we just keep going day by day. Every day it gets better and then when there's a challenge, we know the next day can be better. We love Dr. Hatch and Christine and Kellett and everybody here. The staff's so awesome. The staff is awesome. amazing. Awesome. They're so accommodating, like I said, from figuring out how to do whiteboards and do a week's therapy with no talking for Jackson and they did it. And here we are talking. I love you.